How many within the first five games? That's what I want to know. Uh, holy cow. Uh, unbelievable. Tim. All right. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, uh, glad to be back home this week. Really proud of our team uh, and how we played last week. I thought, as I've said uh, a couple times, our best game for sure. Um, you guys were incredibly focused and locked in on, on uh, uh, what we needed to do to play our best game. And uh, I thought all three phases uh, did just that. So good momentum coming out of that game. And that's what our goal is this week, to try to build momentum and add momentum uh, to, to what we just uh, were able to accomplish down in Atlanta. Uh, again, we're glad at home. we're going to be at home. We've got a huge challenge. Uh, as I just said, you know, it's two undefeated teams, uh, division games, and division games are, you know, all the conference games are huge. Division games, when you win one of them, it's like plus two because uh, you get the you have the tiebreaker on them as well. So, just a huge game for both teams. Uh, they're coming in here incredibly confident. They beat us last year, and uh, so they know they can beat us, and uh, and, and we know they can beat us. Uh, so, you know, it's going to take. Uh, uh, a much better performance uh, by us to have a chance to beat these guys. They do a great job. This will be one of the better offenses that we will see all year. Uh, this quarterback is a, is, a, is a baller, man. He's a good football player. Uh, we did not contain him very well last year at all. Um, you know, they, they're, they play really, they play lightning fast and uh, a million screens and pop passes and, and uh, the zone the counter and the power mixed into it. Uh, a lot of quarterback run, uh, again, all the RPOs and, and then shots down the field. And we, we had, uh, we gave up two bust touchdowns last year, uh, just didn't work, just didn't line up right. Uh, so, you know, we've got to, we got to make sure that we line up right and, uh, and we execute the plan. And then you have to do an unbelievable job of maintaining great integrity in your rush lanes. We did not contain him well last year in the defensive line at all, uh, consistently enough. Uh, so a big challenge for our guys to do a better job than what we did last year as far as, you know, how we squeeze the pocket and how we contain him from the, from the outside in and not let him escape, um, you know, when we do have good coverage. Uh, so just, a, just a, a lot of room for improvement. But this is a good team, man. They got that big number 17 out on the edge. He's a big, long re uh, receiver who can get down the field. And, and uh, you know, they like the 50-50 balls. Uh, and uh, all that stuff, but again, if you can think of a way to throw a screen, they got it. Uh, so they make you run, and they try to get the ball snapped fast, get you out of position. Um, we're going to need our depth in this game uh, for sure uh, to try to make sure we stay fresh for four quarters uh, to get after these guys. But uh, they got they, you know good running back, offensive line. They got they got several guys back. Three of the. Uh, four of the five starters from last year uh, are back, uh, so a really good group. But it all starts with this quarterback. He's a good football player. He really is. He's a guy that that'll have a chance to play after uh, after after Syracuse for sure. <clears throat> and then flip side defensively, they got eight or nine starters back. They've got a lot of experience. They're good up front. They're active, um, and. Uh, you know, are doing a really good job in the secondary. They're one safety. I think I think he leads the conference. I think he's got four picks right now. Um, but uh, smart, know what they're doing. They they challenge you. Uh, a lot of single safety. They'll mix up some of the two safety stuff. But but they challenge you and try to stop the run. Um, and um, they've done a good job of that so far. Um, so uh, big challenge for us. Number ten, their returner is a dangerous returner. Uh, guy that we're going to have to do a good job of accounting for in our kicking game, but uh, we're excited about it. And again, really proud of our team, uh, where we are right now, uh, the mindset of our team, uh, and the focus that I've seen, and, and especially uh, last night, uh, the energy that we had on our practice field uh, and getting ready for uh, our first division matchup. Coach, obviously uh, Trevor will be running out there first. Yep. Um, I know there are a couple of days of practice left, but can we expect it, that both quarterbacks will play kind of like what you've been doing the first four games? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean, you know, Kelly's done nothing wrong. I mean, he's played well. Uh, uh, but it's really no different than our scrimmages and our practices all fall camp. Some, some, some scrimmages Trevor ran out first, some, some series Trevor ran out first, some Kelly ran out first, and those guys just played. And uh, that was one thing I was really proud of Kelly about all fall camp is he just he just focused on him 
and playing well when he was in there, whether he was with the ones, whether he was with the twos, whether we subbed him in a series, it didn't matter. And, uh, and, and he came out a little ahead after camp. Uh, and so that's where we were. But competition went on to the field. We've played four games now. And, um, you know, it's a difficult thing, man, to, to, you know, it's a tough day. But it's just where we are. I've told you all that many times. Uh, you know, if, if we saw a change, if there was a change, we'd probably all know it. And, and that's what happened Saturday. And Kelly didn't do anything wrong. He played well. Uh, but, but Trevor just exceeded. I mean, he, he's, he's really, after four games, productivity and, and just the sheer data, uh, he, he's, he deserves to run out there first, you know, this game. Uh, you know, again, like, just like we changed it up all fall camp. But that doesn't mean Kelly, uh, you know, doesn't deserve to play. Man, we trust Kelly. We believe in Kelly. Kelly's a great football player. He's the MVP of the ACC championship. This guy started, what, eight, 18 games or whatever. That's a good football player. And he, he's, gonna, he's already helped us win, and he'll continue to help us win. Um, and, uh, you know, we just – but that's where we are this week. Uh, but we're very fortunate to have um, two guys that can play, you know, because one of them is going to be hot. The chances of them both being cold is probably not real good. Uh, so we like where we are, and again, it's really not anything that's not natural because that's the way it's been, you know, all camp. And uh, so I, I, I'm excited for Trevor. Uh, I think he's he's earned it, and uh, you know, it, it, that's really it. Uh, but we're definitely going to continue to to get number two in there, and and I know he'll continue to play well. Every opponent has kind of a different way they stress you. What think about Syracuse? Caused you to quote lose the most sweeping eye as far as what they do schematically or personnel wise or so. Yeah, I mean just you know offensively. I mean they're just they're kind of like you played the triple option last week. Well, they're like the the complete polar opposite. Uh, I mean you couldn't have so you could you just couldn't have more uh, different philosophies, styles of play, etc. And and that's what you're playing back to back weeks. Um, and you know, but their their tempo, this quarterback, uh, some of the skilled guys that they have, they 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 schematically just how they formation you, and and uh, you know just force you to run. You know, they just force you to run. Uh, so that's why I said our our depth is going to have to come up for us. We're going to have to do a great job on the perimeter, in defeating you know one on one blocks and, and and negating some of their screen game, which makes them go. If you can take that stuff away, you got a much better chance. And then and then uh, you know I think I think they're good up front. I mean we've got a, I thought they I thought they knocked us back last year. Uh, so you know that's a that, that's a challenge too. But uh, our job is to get them ready. And uh, we will. Coach, have you seen anything on tape that has caused Trevor to maybe be more productive, or has it simply just been an execution thing week by week? Yeah, just execution. I mean, just, just <laughs> he's just he's just made some unbelievable plays. Uh, I, don't, I don't have it in front of me, but it, it, he's like I don't know. He's he's got a bunch of touchdown drives, a bunch, you know. So he just he's just been very very productive, and and again, Kelly's been very productive. Uh, Kelly's not done anything wrong. He's not. It's not. This is not a situation where a guy's played bad, and all of a sudden you're like, "Ugh, this is not. This isn't that case." Uh, both these guys have played really well, so this is just rewarding the performance that we've seen, uh, and and the, just the productivity that we've seen. What was that conversation with Kelly like when you told him? Uh, it's, it's 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 a bad day to be the head coach. You know, it's a bad day to be the head coach. Uh, most days it's good. Uh, That's a bad day, you know, because I love Kelly. Uh, this is one of the, you know, it's emotional. Emotional for him. Tough day. I mean, I, I gave him the day off last night. Uh, it was a rough afternoon. We don't get him here till 4 o'clock. And, uh, you know, I met with him yesterday afternoon and, and, and you know, just uh, Streeter had already met with him on Sunday and, and talked through it. And I had texted with him and said, hey, let's sit down, you know, Monday and, and uh, so we met yesterday afternoon it was emotional it's tough it's tough because he's played well and and he's there's not a guy that's that's ever been here so it's, as long as I've been at Clemson and there's not a guy that's more committed to this program than Kelly Bryant and there's not a better leader 
Uh, this guy is this guy is, is he's the epitome of what you want. He's what you want your son to be like. You know, I mean, I, I love him uh, like a son, and so it, it, it is a very difficult conversation. And uh, uh, and he's very disappointed, but you know, I don't have any doubt that he'll show up and 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 go back to work and respond. Uh, you know, so. But but it was tough. I mean, I you know, listen, I, I this, I, I'm glad God ain't a coach. I can tell you that. Uh, I can tell you I'm glad because as a coach, you have to be critical. You know, you you you've got to rank people. You've got it's it's hard, man. And um, I'm thankful that that God ain't that way. You know, with God, he's everybody's everybody's first team. You know, there is no first team, second team, third team. Um, and uh, you know we're 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 all five stars uh, with God, you know, and we all got an eternal contract with with warranty, you know, we're under warranty. Uh, so I'm glad God ain't a football coach. I know that, and that's not a good. Si I hate being in that situation, but that's my job. You know, uh, my job is to uh, critique, uh, judge. Evaluate, uh, hold people accountable, be fair, and do what's right. And you know, so doesn't make it easier, but but where we are, what we're doing this weekend is what's right. It's just what's right, and we'll see where we go from there. So it's tough. It's a hard. It's hard. You know, it really is. I mean, it's tough. Um, but. Um, you know, I always tell people, you know, you, it, it, it doesn't always go our way. And, you, you know, you just got to respond. Uh, and, and, and when we have adversity in our life or it doesn't go our way, you, you, you know, it can, it can destroy you, it can define you or develop you. And, uh, you know, my hope is that this will continue to develop Kelly into, into being a, uh, the, the, the player that he is, being even a better version of himself and just continuing to – to grind uh, and be who he's been, so it's a hard it's a hard conversation when you when you have to do that as a coach. It's not something that I enjoy or anything like that. But again, that's my job. It's my job. I know that you're you feel like you can run your whole playbook with both guys, but how much more diverse does Trevor make your offense with the vertical passing? Game? Yeah, well, I mean, it's there's no question he he has just elite elite ability uh to to push the ball down the field i mean it's just i mean that's pretty obvious to see uh, but kelly's also demonstrated that he can do everything that we need him to do uh in that regard he's demonstrated that this year uh so uh i i, I don't it, but you know just because a guy's got a stronger arm that don't mean that you, you can't run the same offense with this. That's, that's not accurate. Uh, Kelly, if, now if he's shown he couldn't do it, that'd be different. Uh, but Kelly has, has worked his tail off, and he can do everything that we need him to do. We don't have to change the offense um, for either one of these guys. You know, a lot of people think, you know, Trevor can't run. Trevor can run. Uh, and, and the more he plays, the more you'll see that. Devin, was there any um, at the end of the thought process of the conversation at all that barring an injury, Kelly could sit the rest of the year and transfer and still have a full year left? Did that come up at all? Uh, we we talked about a lot of things, you know, and I'm not going to get into details of our conversation, but we, we talked about a lot of things. Like I said, it was emotional, and a lot of a lot of things that we did talk about. Uh, and you know what? If 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 I was if I was worried about that, or I was deceitful in some way or something like that you know I could have huddled the coaches up and said hey let's make sure we start him for Syracuse and and you know that way he he's got no option you know that that's not how I operate I don't think like that I don't operate that way I mean <laughs> that's I just trying to do what's right and uh, I'm not going to ever apologize for that but we had we talked about lots of things uh, it was a deep long emotional conversation and um, you know uh, something that 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 he needed to, we needed to talk through and we'll go from there. But yeah, certainly that's a. If he walked in here today and said, "Hey, coach, I don't want to play the rest of the year unless you got to have me," well, 
okay, if that's what you want to do. I mean, I, you know, I'm all for. I love Kelly, and um, I would I would be disappointed in that because we need him. But you know, I, I I wouldn't judge him on that. Did he convey to you that he might be interested in that? No, no, no. We just talked. We just we just. We just said, I talked a lot about a lot of things, um, but uh, you know, again, he he's I don't have any doubt he'll be right here and be ready to go and get back on the horse and, and ride. What was the mood of the team when you told them? Uh, I didn't, you know, I didn't really have an opportunity to get in front of the team, uh, you know, because we had some press stuff going on and you know, Tony had to meet, and I didn't want to put Tony in a bad situation, so that's why I put out, you know. You know, so I just wanted to make sure that that we had the opportunity to talk to Kelly, and uh, so that's why I put out just a, a statement that he got Trevor's going to start against Syracuse, and uh, you know, so that's that's where we were. And then I didn't really get a chance to 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 get with the team until yesterday. We we don't get together till four, and I met I met with the whole senior group at three forty five and talked about it with them, and uh, you know, the guys understand. I mean, it's it's no different than any other position. I mean, we got a lot of seniors that are backups. Uh, you know, we got juniors that are backups. I mean, it's it's you, it it's competitive at every single position, and every single week, um, you know, you got to earn it. And just so happens this year, it's a very, very, very competitive situation at quarterback. And uh, but it's a good competition, and and it's not like we got guys who can't win. You know, it's kind of like when we had Shaq and Vic Beasley at DN. They were both very different, but both very good. And we played them both, you know. Um, and it's like when we had all them D tackles. When That's what Dan Brooks said. I, I didn't ever know. I told you this. I never know who was running out there first at D tackle because he would hold them accountable to the last pregame meal, you know. And then he'd say, all right, you're running out there today, you know, because he wanted every second to count. Because that's how competitive it was. So we have that at a lot of positions, and our guys understand competition. It's no different at quarterback. Um, it's just more interesting and more public uh, than what's going on at nose guard or at tight end or at wide out or at safety or whatever else, kicker. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. You know, Everybody just wants to talk about the quarterback. Coach, but I get it. Going into Saturday, when you think of last year, is, is the idea of revenge just as a competitor one that motivates you? No, I mean the the, the idea of a you know bad memory and, and a bad taste in my mouth is, is certainly a motivating factor. But I, I mean we're not out to get revenge. Uh, I mean they won a football game, they outplayed us, they outcoached us, they beat us. They just this is a new season, you know. Uh, but I will say this: when you look back on that last year, you know, for me, I always judge it as we, uh, you know, bad things happen. Uh, again, how you respond? I mean, you let something define you, destroy you, or develop you. Well, what did our team do last year? We didn't lose another game till the Sugar Bowl against the national champion. We didn't lose another game. I think they lost five straight. So, you know. Whether it's something great or something bad, you know, I mean, okay, you got to move on. You can't live and go, oh, man, I, you know, I can't wait to get my revenge 364 days from now uh, or whatever it is. Uh, I think, who said, I got, it was one of them basketball guys yesterday. I can't remember. Didn't the NBA just open up? Uh, Okay, I saw it. I saw it. I can't, and I don't remember which one it was, but one of the basketball guys, he, he was awesome. He said, he said, "He said, man, if you're just sitting around looking at the future, you, you're gonna trip up on the present." I love that. I don't. I love that, man. And so, no, I, I'm not looking ahead. I don't think about. It. I'm just trying to be great in the moment, in the present, and we want to win this game. Not because we lost last year. Not to get revenge. We want to win this game because it's a division game, and we want to win the division, and we want to be the best version of the 2018 team. And they're in our way. Uh, we don't want to win it because they beat us last year. Yeah, it'd be nice, but that's that's that, and it's you don't forget. But that's not the motivating factor. If that's the motivating factor, then we're going to be we'll be a program like this. Um, so. Have a 